today we were playing Captain Dumbletwit Snap. Snap! Oh, look what you made me do! Well, it's all right. Wolfie will clean it up for you. No. There'll be cabbage and custard pudding all over the kitchen at this rate. Great Aunt Loretta makes really weird food. Just then, Wolfie got hold of his squeaky sausage. <laughs> Oh, I hate that squeaky sausage. Bad boy! I don't blame Wolfie, he's only playing. Well, it's so annoying. I'm trying to get this in the fridge before Mr. Wolves comes for tea. Great Aunt Loretta had asked Mr. Whoops over because Miss Smiley, his wonder wife, was away for a few days. So he drove out to the mill on the marsh in his little car and we heard. Oh, sounds like Mr. Whoops now. Oh, Mr. Oh, Mr. Whoops is called Mr. Whoops because he's always having little accidents. I expect you tripped on this wretched squeaky sausage. Don't blame Wolfie. Oh, my glasses. What are my glasses? Oh, dear. They're broken. Now see what you've done. Don't blame Wolfie. He didn't break the glasses. Yes, this was the day when all Grandpa could say was don't blame Wolfie. Off you go. Go on, upstairs. Take that wretched dog with you. He's nothing but trouble. And you, Elsie. Come on, you can carry on your snapping upstairs. Go on. Go on. How could I be so clumsy? Oh, no. Mr. Wolfs, it's not your fault. No, it's that wretched dog. Now, how about a drink? Oh, apple juice would be lovely. Oh, there. Now then, you just help yourself. There. <laughs> and I'm going to put my cabbage and custard pudding into the fridge. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> Mr. Wolfs started pouring, but he couldn't see without his glasses. So this happened. Getting on with Miss Smiley. Oh, 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 oh my goodness! Oh, oh, did that happen? Oh, 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 I slipped. There's a puddle on the floor. It's that dog. He's making puddles on the floor now. Oh, I'm going to sort him out, I am. We were playing snap again, and my Mrs Ostrich was watching. Quiet, you. You've made a puddle on the kitchen floor, you have. What, Wolfie, a puddle? Never. He's made a puddle on the kitchen floor and I slipped up in it and I nearly hurt my bottom. Oh, but don't blame Wolfie. It must have been Mr Whoops having a little accident. Mr Whoops does not make puddles. Honestly, Grandpa, what do you like? Uh, now, look. Uh, I'm putting uh, you out in the meadow, you bad dog. Loretta, it wasn't Wolfie. Oh, this is too much. I'm not having Wolfie stuck out in the meadow. He needs my help, but there's only one thing for it, Elsie. Not the shrinking cap, Grandpa. Catch me if you can. You know what happens when Grandpa shrinks. He can hide in teeny tiny places. He can run really fast. And his magic can make things go. Like this. And this. And this. And Grandpa always has a plan. Here's the plan. You go into the kitchen and find a moment to open the back door. OK, but what are you going to do? I'm going into the meadow to rescue Wolfie. <laughs> Giddy up, Mrs Ostrich! Way! <laughs> and Grandpa flew out of the window on Mrs Ostrich. Can't get back in now. <laughs> now we shall have some peace. Great Aunt Loretta had left poor Wolfie all alone in the meadow. But he wasn't all alone for long. Come on, Wolfie, follow me. Good boy. I went downstairs just in time to see Grandpa flying into the courtyard. Do it. So Wolfie was able to get back in. Grandpa ran and hid behind a pot. And Wolfie followed. Why are you 
standing there gaping like a fish, Elsie. Um, I just need to get Mrs Ostrich. She's out in the courtyard. Oh, and how did she get there, I wonder? I suppose that dog put her there. And don't, don't say, don't blame Wolfie, because I do. Oh, poor Wolfie. Poor Wolfie nothing. He's a bad dog. I opened the door and went out. Yeah, there's the tea, Mr Whoops. <laughs> And now it's time for me to turn out my cabbage and custard pudding. <laughs> I picked up Mrs Ostrich and Grandpa said... Run, Wolfie, now! And Wolfie ran inside. But just then, this happened. Oh, he's back! That dog's back in! Elsie, how did that dog get back in? He was in the courtyard, hiding. But I locked him out of the courtyard. I locked him in the meadow. While Great Aunt Loretta went to turn out her pudding, Grandpa was stuck outside and couldn't escape because I had Mrs Ostrich. Never mind, Loretta. Let's have some tea, eh? Mr Whoops poured some tea, but because he wasn't wearing his glasses, he didn't notice it had gone all over the floor. But I did, and so did Grandpa. I knew it. It's Mr Whoops having little accidents. Great Aunt Loretta was ready to show off her special treat to Mr Whoops. Ta-da! Our special treat, Mr Whoops. Cabbage and custard pudding! Oh, bravo! <laughs> but she didn't see the spilt tea and she did this. Oh, oh that dog's done another puddle! Oh. I'll get you a cloth, Mr Whoops. And I'm covered in... Cabbage and custard. Here, Mr. Whoops. Maybe you should have some fresh air. And I opened the door and in ran Grandpa. While Mr. Whoops was cleaning himself up, Grandpa got onto the worktop. What's that? What? I thought I saw a little man. It must be because you're not wearing your glasses. Oh. Here. Grandpa quickly got into Upsy Downsy and up he went. He arrived upstairs just as Great Aunt Loretta turned up. Grandpa! Oh, gone for a little lie down, I suppose. Typical. Oh. So I shall have to take you to the vet. It's... Dogs that make puddles need pills. Grandpa ran and jumped into Loretta's bag. Grandpa knew Wolfie didn't need pills because he wasn't making puddles. But if Wolfie was going to the vets, he was going too. <laughs> I need you to take me to the vet, Mr Wolfs. This dog needs a pill. But I can't. I've broken my glasses, see? I can't drive anywhere. And I can't drive Campo. And, oh, and they've all gone off in Queenie. Uh, uh, right. I need you to get this dog out of my sight. And I need to think. And you know what helps us think, Mr Wolfs? Green Gloop. <laughs> <laughs> Green Gloop is Great Aunt Loretta's spinach and sprout shake. Just then I saw Grandpa. But so did Mr Wolfs. What's the matter? He was there again. I'm sure. A little man. I keep seeing a little man. No, 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 no. Don't be silly, Mr. Wolves. No, no. You pour us out some green gloop and I'll think of a plan. <laughs> Mr. Whoops accidentally poured the gloop in Great Aunt Loretta's bag. Oh. And Grandpa was getting gloop. Mr. Whoops, look what you're doing. I'm trying to, Loretta, but I can't see without my glasses. Oh. Maybe it was Mr. Whoops having those little accidents all along, and you blamed Wolfie. You know, you're right, Elsie. I must have spilled the apple juice, then the tea, and now the glue. Oh. oh. Great Aunt Loretta went to tip everything out of her bag. She was about to see a gloopy grandpa. I had to do something. Look! Look at Wolfie! <laughs> Well, at least you can do something useful. Poor Wolfie, getting the blame for my little accidents. <laughs> Grandpa climbed out of the sink, jumped down and ran out of the room and I followed him.
Never mind that, at least we stopped Loretta from blaming poor Wolfie for everything. Teamwork, I call it. Teamwork? Yeah. Yes, well, I think I'd better go and get out of my gloopy clothes. A bit later, Uncle CJ and the others came back. And Mr. Whoops was taken to Sunny Sands to get his glasses mended. Well, he's gone, thank goodness. Not a moment too soon. I've never known Mr. Whoops have so many little accidents. <laughs> oh, Grandpa. Oh, you've been lying down all afternoon and now you're ready for bed. <laughs> yes, well, um, I had a little accident. Oh, you did, did you? Oh, well, don't blame Wolfie, eh? <laughs> <laughs>